think about the objects you use every day and what materials they are made from. Let's talk about this blanket made out of cotton so it's soft to the touch and flexible. Some skateboards, like this one, are made of wood because they need to be solid and strong enough to hold our weight when we stand on them. Wood, paper, cotton, plastic, steel, concrete. They're all common materials, but each material has properties that make it useful for different jobs. Let's experiment. We will build a bridge over this basin of water and see how many toy cars it can hold. For our first material, let's use a paper towel. This paper feels soft and stretchy. We will stretch it across our water basin and secure its edges down with tape. Now, let's make it rain a little bit on our bridge. Now it's time for the cars. You can see from the first car that the material is flexible and bending. Uh-oh, it's not looking very strong. It didn't take many cars to break this bridge. For our second material, let's use a cereal box made of cardboard. It is not as flexible as paper and feels firm, not soft. We'll test it with a little rain again. This material appears to be stronger than the paper. It's still holding up after a few cars, but look, it's beginning to bend under the weight of the cars. For our last material, let's use wood. You can see the wood is absorbing the rain because you see it changing color. But will that affect its strength? Wow, a bridge full of cars and it's still holding strong. Looks like wood is the correct material choice for this job.